New at 6, the Brevard County Clerk of Court's decision to outsource workers to save money won't save as much as he thought. Channel 9's Kevin Oliver was there as county commissioners decided to force the clerk to hand over nearly $200,000 for pulling employees out of the county insurance pool. Brevard County Clerk Mitch Needleman may have thought he was saving his office hundreds of thousands of dollars by laying off 125 workers and then hiring them back through a staffing company. But county staff say he broke an interlocal agreement by pulling those people out of a county health insurance pool. We believe that the clerk has engaged in activities which adversely affect the operation in the programs. County commissioners question whether his office was really in financial trouble. I just don't see the $2 million deficit that you referenced. Then the public weighed in. It's wrong. It's wrong to take 123 people from this county and outsource them to the other side to Orlando. Because where is your guarantee they won't outsource them? Mr. Needleman, shame on you. Shame on you. Needleman said he couldn't discuss his decision to use a staffing company because 39 former employees are now suing his office. Overall, the clerk's office was able to save the taxpayers over $700,000. He said he would agree to pay back a portion of what his office owed into the county's insurance pool for now, but said he disagreed with the county's numbers. In Brevard County, Kevin Oliver, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The workers who got laid off and then rehired by the staffing company don't get any of the health care or retirement benefits they did when they were employed directly by the clerk's office.